My name is Ciro Altavaz. I'm from Spain, from Zaragoza. I'm a writer, a director, and also a teacher. Uh, usual, I also draw some funny cartoons. So yeah, plenty of things. Hopefully, some of them I'll do it. I'll do it fine. I'll do it correctly. <laughs> Made in Japan was shot alongside a feature-length documentary, but, but because we didn't have any permission to shoot uh, the documentary, it was about Nintendo, and about the launch of the Nintendo Wii, and we didn't have any permission. We were crazy, we were young. So we thought, okay, perhaps we should have like a plan B, like something extra. But if we go to Japan and we end up not having any material whatsoever, we can rely on that. So that was made in Japan, which is one of my favorite short films, one of, one of my favorite children. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have any screenplay, we didn't have any professional actors. It was me, my then girlfriend, um, my parents were the, my DOP's parents. Mm -hmm. So it was very quite crazy, quite fun, and we just made it up as long as we were shooting it. Um, it's, as I said, it was one of my favorite experiences, really, really fun to do. I just wanted a, a very simple idea of me, because we didn't have resources to go to Japan with a professional actor, me trying to reach for my real father, who is in fact Japanese. And I only wanted that very simple log line uh, so we could have fun with it. And as, okay, so we met somebody there, we met a guide and his father was playing the Kendo finals. And so we were invited to go there and we decided, okay, perhaps the father of our guide to play my real dad. So it was very, very, yeah, I, quite crazy and very fun because I'm, I'm used to have a screenplay and then eight, 10 revisions and rehearsals and so on and so on. And I don't know, it was such a polite dream, sir, to just go the other way around for once. It's crazy. I mean, you. It's, it's always a surprise because you do the especially made in Japan. You know, you never know. But it is. I find it funny and I find it even a little touching. So, but will anybody else find it funny? And and suddenly it travels. Um, yeah, I keep on all these other crazy places uh, that that they. Sh share my, well, that they find it funny as well. It's, it's like, okay, yeah, um, perhaps I was right that one time. So I did a, the, the feature film documentary about Japan, and about the Nintendo, and then uh, two, three more short films. I published two books, writing an essay interviewing uh, 171 writers about how they write okay. so yeah that's 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 something quite big that i'm working on big for me big for the volume of, of, of work uh, i'm also teaching and i write and uh, i wrote for tv for a scripted tv series in spain and i'm also shopping around a feature length screenplay Okay. I've written plenty of, of screenplays and I'm shopping around one, hopefully to, to direct and to be my, my feature film debut, my script with the feature film debut. So, and hopefully next year I will shoot this um, project uh, surrounding a family arguing after the feature film debut of the youngest, uh, youngest uh, daughter mm. in a film festival. I, I just did another short film, a little bit of a tangent here. I, I, I finished another short film 
and yesterday was it's a very I mean Spanish centric sort of and suddenly it's chosen and selected in India and oh, it's always crazy like okay yeah sure. I mean sure Uh, learn some something about production. Mm, when I was studying, I studied a lot of lots of screenwriting courses, uh, which were mostly the same, or, or, always the same. And especially if you want to write and direct your own short films or feature films, you need to know production. Mm, you need to know how to apply it to the grants to the government grants to any kind to do all the paperwork and to do it correctly it requires lots of patience lots of work but you need to know it and as the sooner as you as you start learning it the better <laughs>